Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. ARPA Neurologist and Chief of the Neurothic Studies Program at Georgetown University, Washington, D.C., Dr. James Giordano, who is also a weapons expert, started his presentation at West Point New York Military Academy by saying, the brain is, and will, be the 21st century battlefield. End of story. DARPA stands for Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, a Pentagon think tank. Dr. Giordano talks about how directed energy can be, and is, being weaponized. Individuals' brains can be targeted by microwaves, the type of 5G, and soon to come 6G, of which you see antennas growing like mushrooms all over the world. They tell you, it is to make your internet and ever more sophisticated computers and smartphones faster, with more outreach capacity, and to help advance digitization. This may all be true to some extent, but the real reason behind these microwave towers is to target you, the individual. Why? From other sources, we know that the fourth industrial revolution is in full implementation. Klaus Schwab, eternal CEO of the World Economic Forum, WEF, published his book, Shaping the Fourth Industrial Revolution, already in 2018. In it, he writes about such significant topics as embedding values in technologies, the Internet of Things, data ethics, artificial intelligence and robotics, and a special chapter on altering the human being. In this chapter, Schwab addresses biotechnologies and neurotechnologies, transhumanism, precisely the science that Dr. Giordano was talking about in 2018 at the West Point Military Academy, and which is in full implementation. If we connect the dots, we realize that the brain as the battlefield of the future is now, and that we were warned way ahead. According to Dr. Giordano, the science of neurotechnologies has started some 40 years ago, and he, Giordano, has been part of it for at least 35 years. Therefore, warnings have been all over the place, at the latest by Klaus Schwab's Fourth Industrial Revolution, available from Amazon. The death cult has again given people warnings, according to its rules, way ahead of time, so, they may be successful. Why is it that we never take note of such warnings? Because we do not believe in so much built-in evil in humanity. Or, because we do not want to leave our comfort zone, our dystopian view of a safe world. They know it. And we must break that boundary between comfort and reality. If not, we are doomed. If you are targeted, there is virtually nothing you can do, says William Binney, ex-NSA technical director and whistleblower. The NSA is the U.S. National Security Agency, one of 15 U.S. intelligence agencies. If you want a lead demonstrator to stop demonstrating, you target his brain with ultra short waves. We by now know them as 5G. You make them depressed, so they do not want to demonstrate anymore, you make them suicidal, and the problem is resolved. You do this as many times as you want, and create an ambience of depression. These are paraphrased words of Barry Trower, XMI-5 microwave scientist and whistleblower. Mr. Trower adds, that low-level microwaves can cause all sorts of cancers and leukemias, and further elaborates, that for the past 40 years or so, the U.S. government, plus basically all the anglo have been lying to their people, to protect not only the high-flying profits of these industries of death, but perhaps, more importantly, for not divulging the evil objective of total surveillance and enslavement that they have planned. Today, we gradually see what this plan entails. Through electronic telepathy, Trower adds, we are able to monitor the brain. In other words, we are all vulnerable to mind interference through the worldwide coverage of 5G shortwaves. And the worst is, we may not even notice when it hits us. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update.
Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Mind manipulations may take many forms. One of them is that people physically hear voices. It is not that people are imagining voices, but they can physically hear voices. It can be anything, anything you want to hear, or you are scared to hear, angelic voices or diabolical voices, to repeat the words of Narashantists. This technology may have been applied to the U.S. Embassy personnel in Havana, first reported by U.S. and Canadian Embassy staff in Havana, Cuba. The so-called Havana Syndrome of 2016. This may be a cluster of idiopathic symptoms experienced mostly abroad by U.S. government officials and military personnel. The symptoms range in severity from pain and ringing in the ears to cognitive dysfunction. The Havana Syndrome has apparently now also been reported by U.S. Embassy staff in China. DARPA led a couple of contracts in 2011-2012 with the University of California for what is called electronic telepathy, to be able to monitor the brains of people at distance and to determine what they are thinking. Under a separate contract, the university was to investigate sending in signals to the brain of a person, literally sending them messages saying what they must think and do. This is where the technology is today. This could be used in your private life as well as your professional life. It means, already today, they could make you do and behave as whatever they would like. They could make you a murderer, a cheater, or just simply obedient to orders that may follow. To repeat, what you must know is that the brain is and will be the 21st century's battlefield, says Dr. James Udano, DARPA neurologist, during his talk at the Modern War Institute at West Point, New York. It is important to remember, especially since we should pay more attention to our surroundings, to people's behavior, than what we are used to. We may deduct many lessons. So, that we may continue and expanding the field of connecting the dots. The technology could be used to prompt you to commit mass murder. Are some of the sudden and unexpected school and shopping mall mass shootings are triggered by such mechanisms? This is a distinct possibility, because in most cases, the shooter is not apprehended and brought to justice, but immediately killed on the scene by the police, lest he might recall what happened to him and divulge the secret in court, the NSID use of the brain as a battlefield. In most cases, the police simply say the culprit was no to the police, and or had already a police record. This is to disguise you from thinking further. Why are they doing it? They, being the monsters, which cannot easily be called humans. To create terror, constant fear, to keep you on your toes. To get you used to terror and violence, as worse, much worse is to come, if they have their way. And we just comply, become depressed and passive, instead of rebelling in unison and peace, but strongly rejecting the dominion of a few over us, the many. Curiously, the fourth industrial revolution does not give one single valid reason why all digitization, transhumanism, total control of humanity, is good for humanity and for Mother Earth, nor does the Great Reset, nor does UN Agenda 2030. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.